selected, we have Mech and Infinity versus Shokyo and Critter. I'm your commentator, Wet. And I'm your commentator, Lunchables. Hi, Lunchables. Um, they're doing a couple hand warmers. We yeah. Can, we can tell them that they're ready. Uh, Sean, y'all are ready. All right. All right. So they're going to put out the match. Uh, uh, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they started on Stadium. It's, uh, I don't mean, I don't really see any, I don't really see any disadvantages for any of the characters on here. Like, Stadium 2 is one of those stages where it's like, there's not really a disadvantage to any character. Alright, so starting off, we got Link and Roy versus Met Knight and Lucario. I know Meta Knight has a positive matchup versus both of these characters, but I have no idea what Lucario does. Well, it seems it's been Yeah, the, the matchups are, you matchups know. Matchups get skewed because you have to fire Yeah. Shokyo using his fire break. Link, let's see if he can do a bomb recovery. Ooh, it looks like he hit the bomb, but yeah. he got sent flying with, into the blast. Yeah, with uh, with this type of team, what you're probably going to see is if the Link player is playing smart, he's going to be stock tanking really hard, and the Roy's probably going to use about six stocks or so, so it's going to be the team of six stocks and two stocks. Because Roy's going to die extremely early, but he's going to be going in, and Link should be playing very safe and, yeah. and probably stock tanking. Yeah. At least that's what Terra Link would be doing. Link using a lot of bombs. Uh, Critter trying to keep away, but uh, Infinity is known for yeah. his massive control. He understands teams very well. Yeah. He's just able to control where people are and how they react. He was actually well known for being an incredibly uh, gifted like brawl teams player. He was really good at beating Denti in teams, from what I heard. In, in singles, he had a harder time, but in teams, he was really, really aware of the surroundings. In fact, uh, uh, in the, uh, that uh, brawl team. Yeah, 2009 they, days. And they would get uh, first or second at uh, very high level. Yeah, I know UTD Zach got, I think it was second in one of the Apexes, Apex 2010, yeah. I believe. Yeah, with Razor. Yep. Who was like 14 at the time and they just kind of flew out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, great roll into a grab. All right, blue team. It's blue team's looking like what, what I said the green team was going to be like right now. Infinity stock tanking super hard, and Vex just going in. Vex going super in. She really likes to use her, uh, her aura cancels. Her down B a lot. So, uh, oh, what's that? Aura cancel or oh, um, down ex B. extreme speed. Extreme speed. There we go. She likes to use her extreme speed a lot. It's either extreme speed or agility or something like that. Because he's also got an up B. What? What? Reading that early up B and catching it with gigantic aura bomb. Yeah, most people will always try and cover the option of sweet spotting the ledge, but yeah. sometimes if you go for uh if you go for above the ledge you can, you know, do an I mean they could theoretically cover that option, but since it's a surprise they won't be able to cover it. But you know, in fact just doesn't care. Yeah. That arrow almost actually let Infinity grab the ledge and edge guard Roy. Down air into an up B. In this situation, actually do go. in this situation, one character just has to get a grab, and the other character just goes out of smash attack. Yep. Forward air. Oh, yeah, that was a really good trade. Like he, he had to space that just right, so that way, I mean, it it didn't matter because Infinity. I mean, they still would have won if Infinity died, but he spaced it to where he would have traded it correctly. Wow. So, that was game one. Infinity and Beck take it pretty handily. I think yeah. it was like a five stop. That wasn't exactly a surprise. No offense to the green team, but Infinity is definitely a great player, and so is Beck. is yeah. coming from College Station. I don't know where Critter's from. I'd assume also College Station. Uh, so, this tournament is at the wonderful collected store in. Uh, Worth. Is it exactly Fort Worth? It's it's like it's I don't remember the exact I'm sure if it's like a subset of Fort Worth. But yeah, uh, collected in Fort Worth. We're here in like this little roundabout area. Yeah. Um, just uh, just a nice card shop, just filled with tons of nice little yep. accessories. Great, great accessories. They have tons of card games. They even have the spoils, if y'all know what the spoils is. Very I have cool no game. idea what that is. Uh, it's it's an interesting card game that's uh, coming to my friend. Is it like new school or old school or what? 
Uh, I'm not quite sure what you mean. Like, was I was I like around when? Oh, was I around when the game was popular? Like, is it popular right now? I have no idea. No, no, not at all. Was I like? Definitely not popular. Was I like five years old? Was I was like five years old when it was popular? Yes. It's, that's what I was asking. Is it you like? You were definitely not in junior high. <laughs> Maybe elementary school. But all right, striking or banning Three, done. Two, they choose one, Castlevania. Go. They want some more. Room. This soul. Yeah, they're gonna give they're gonna give Link a lot of room to uh, to stock tank and stuff. But the problem is that with every other character, most of these characters have a decent recovery, so they're gonna be living for a while. Except for Roy, even though there's a large blast zone, if Roy's hit far out, it doesn't matter. He's yeah, still yeah. gonna die. And I think the same with Mario. It's, it's kind of hard for Mario to get back in those extreme circumstances. <laughs> yeah, in in uh, two point six, I believe he had like this infinite like wall or like like wall clan upbeat sort of thing that was taken out. So this type of stage doesn't really have an insane recovery anymore. All right. Yeah, honestly, for percent in teams is like I mean you can you could be a ten percent or you could be at like hundred and fifty, but in teams it's it's very like situational for a lot of your stuff. So it doesn't matter how much all that matters is how many stops you That's that's a core concept in teams. Yeah, momentum is is different than singles. So, uh, first stock tank is we got uh, two stocks of these. Lots of the 70% lead. Uh, on green teams. So they're much better on this stage. Now that they have the down air coming out of nowhere and slamming into X face. She's got set up. And again with the down. Yeah, the blue team is actually being pressured kind of hard in these situations. It's a lot more even now. Also, I noticed one other thing is that uh, Infinity's gonna go for a lot of up B ceiling kills, but this stage is a, like probably the largest. If I mean maybe Dreamland's larger, but the stage has an insane ceiling, so up B kills are gonna happen a lot later. As to where. I, I I have no idea which one's the highest, but I saw Shokyo live Meta Knight's Uppy at like the top of the stage at like 120. So oh, as crazy with these on WarioWare, Meta Knight's Uppy on the ceiling would kill at like 60 or 70, which is ridiculous. Now we have two stops and Shokyo for me. Safely better. I think they needed I think they needed room. Yeah, Infinity does not DI that correctly. He was expecting the forward throw. Alright, DBZ kill everybody die at the end. Okay, so Shokyo and Critter end up winning that game. Yeah, we were 
we were off cam, but it ended up being like a three stock, so it Not wasn't surprising. Um, combination of Vandy missing punishes. Um, yeah. Next suiciding. It just looked like uh, the disjoints with their swords controlled the stage really well. Yeah. So they just kind of got mashed up. They're going to another big stage, which is, I mean, I like this choice. I know this is Infinity's probably, like, favorite neutral out of all the stages, but at the same time, it's... I feel like all, like, the big stages are good for every character except for Roy. Alright, so, back to the action. It's, it's one and one. Infinity just SD'd. He tried to air dodge to the stage, but he ended up air dodging in like to the side of it, so he didn't land on the on the top. I, I feel like he's just off. I mean, I feel like a lot of DFW's players are like really on and off. I think it's I think what it is is like he, is, he has I guess more confidence in his like playing perfect kind of skills. Actually, still presents at that, at that current like, moment. It's, it's not particularly the most consistent, right? Like he can, he can do it, but not all the time. Is what yeah, you're saying? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So what ends up breaking? Okay, yeah, that was that was a good edge Um The stocks are even. So what ends up happening is just like he'll end up suicide, he'll try and get first. It's it's almost like a risk reward kind of thing. Like yeah. he, he wants to play perfect, but at the same time, you know, he could either be really good or really off. So, like for instance, I am definitely not consistent. <laughs> and so, when presented with an option, Ooh. yeah, that back air was actually really deadly. Oh, it killed across the entire stage. The entire stage. Uh, so, like for me, for instance, I know that my tech skill is not perfect. So, mm -hmm. like for instance, I don't go for a frame for a big wavelength from the front Yeah. Front I don't feel like missing a stop. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's that's the saddest feeling. The MTK at Evo, you yeah. know, wait, we'll try and wave that back on the stage, SD8. It's really painful. Yeah. Roy ends up losing the stop. We got five stops. You know, that's why you pick a tether character. Oh, I missed the ledge. No, I didn't. Yeah. Oh, I suicide? Let me just press A real quick and stop it. <laughs> Alright. Shokyo missed his tech there. Infinity could have gotten a bigger punish. Yeah, he did. Tries to get it down. So if they kill Shokyo really early here, or they can take Fritter's uh, second stock, they're definitely going to be at a lead right now, but I'd say they're around equal-ish. Oh, yeah. oh, Infinity oh. went for the ultimate YOLO bits. Oh, that was a really good detail. I don't... nope. That detail was perfectly spaced. Yeah, Beck didn't... Beck didn't finish that. So, so a lot of mistakes. That's fine. Ow. These players. First, first. Uh, yeah. Infinity just tried to spot dodge the flare blade, but that was. I, I didn't even expect the flare blade to be honest. All right. So. Wow. Okay. Beck just got gimped pretty hard. This looks like game two. There. Um, Link just kind of held on to his stocks. Roy went in. Yeah, they gave him way too much space. Yeah. I mean, Meta Knight does like room, but at the same time, I feel like a lot of the swords and projectiles are controlling the space better than Beck and Infinity could. I think that that's... Okay, I couldn't tell if that was a crouch cancel down smash or just a regular down smash, but either way, that sealed it out. Infinity and Beck sent to losers. 